Oh, this is wild. There's only 30 seconds left. They're finally rotating someone in about Boomage, but he has to get at least a kill. And he's going to fall back and try and play safe. That's that's not bad at all. The fact that he even lives at this point in time is at least helpful, but it's going to be a bomb plant for NIP and a full 5-on-5 five five retake. What a, what a crazy way to get this started. They're going to go even try and take over construction right away, and that might have just backfired on them. Rezin Polovsky trying to make a play there on Boomage. Simple there to save the day, though, keeping his IGL in one piece. Well, now it is going to favor him. Knock long range takes down Perfecto. One shot headshot with the P250. Picks up a bit on Electronic as well. They're pushing onto the site, and it's not going to happen. NIP have got this on lock. This is, oh, he gets one more, and now it's just up to Electronic. He has no chance. Another bullet, and it would have been a quad kill for Knock right there. That's fantastic. A triple for him. Mm. Not too surprised that it's happening, but we'll see if NIP can, can manage to dodge it. <laughs> oh, well, that's the power. I meant really good in, like, close combat type spray, but Boomich doesn't care. And that just highlighted what's so ridiculous about that pistol. I know. The fact that it can kill people that far away. I get it close Not when range. I use it, but... Yeah, exactly. For me, bullets disappear. They're simple point blank. Turns out the Deagle is now a close range pistol as well. It's got it all. Got it all. <laughs> So yeah, th I mean, now it's a real nightmare, not just because of the two deaths, but there's only 35 seconds left on the clock, and they take down Simple, but they need to make a move right now. They can't really switch back, and actually, Boomich has walked up behind them, so this round should be done. There should be Navi's already. Bit of a Mac 10 kill to take down Nork, and now they know when IP they yeah, out of luck and out of time. This this was way too easy in some sense for Navi. I mean, NIP just wanted the info, but every time they tried to get it, they lost the player somewhere, and... I gotta get it. Walking around on the other side of the smoke. Where's the flag? I'm waiting for it right now. And it's yeah, it's gonna be a, a little bit off, maybe like half a second off on that flashbang, and that is gonna be cleaned up really quickly. And I think already simple was rotating there, like he was coming in from Archie and even if that was starting. So I don't know. A decent idea, maybe a little bit off on the flashbang, but otherwise I, I don't really mind that from from NIP. I mean they they had to do something, right? Hmm. It's just constant HE molly combos with the flashes. Half of the time, you can't even see what you're doing. It's just nightmare fuel. Well, they're getting back into position just as the C side is there, but Electronic wins the fight. That should have been North. You have to assume he will be banging the desk at that point in time because I think he, he, he must have thought that is my kill for sure. Flamey flashed halfway at least, and that's the problem though. Again, even if they got that early kill, they were repositioning to get back into A because Simple was alone at the B bomb side or has been for a while. And that's some nice tapping from Twist. It's going to leave Simple alone, and I'm. Sure, it's not worth it to go for this one versus three this early on, especially now that he got tagged. I don't know. Yeah, great news for NIP that they really needed this round. They, I mean, yeah. And uh, right now, but it's still very early days. We can't really knock him too much. We're just keeping an eye on Perfecto here, sitting on a single frag. I mean, there was... Uh, this is going to be very difficult now for Nip. They know everything, Navi. They have such a good read on what's coming, exactly because of what you just mentioned. Boomich has already snuck through the middle. He's checked. No one's coming from that direction. Nice enough headshot from Twist, but there's only 17 seconds left. And now there's a Molotov in their way. 14 seconds now. Time is running out for NIP right now. They need to get on this site and get the bomb planted right away. But they're going to run out of time entirely. They run right in front of Boomich. They line up for an easy spray. Not for the nice kill. The time has simply run out. So two kills is all they got in this round. NIP and Navi, they bounce right back. And Electronic could have a field day. They just want to get really close to that bomb site. And they've actually, this is kind of interesting if you think about it from NIP's point of view. They've been able to get this Haycott so many times. It makes sense if they try and use this for something. I just wish it wasn't like a half by round, but you know, you've got to use what you have, I suppose. Perfecto going to get a couple of kills. Boomich will get one more, and then Perfecto to end out the round. This is so next level if it works, Anders. This is sick. I, I want to see it work now just to see Navi. Just to see Navi get to grin. As simple and perfecto. Find two kills to open it up. Twist is there to trade. It takes perfecto back. And it looks like Nepa figured it out. They've already got Hampus oh, boxing what? him in. This is perfect. Hampus with the flank is going to find him. But he does only find... Yes, gets both kills for a second there. It looked like he was about to drop the ball. I can't believe it. I feel like I've been outplayed by NIP in this. I didn't even realize. I thought, yeah, whatever, fine. You're going to pick up the bomb and run to the bomb site. What's that going to accomplish? And then suddenly you realize Hampers has walked up behind him into the CT spawn and is just shooting him in the back as they try and rotate out of the B-bomb site. I'm actually so sure. This is, a, this is an incredible round from NIP. What a great call. They realized there was way overstacked that bomb site, and I'm sure they would have had Hampers there anyway, no matter what. But the fact that that worked out for NIP is absolutely amazing. Few and far between, but they do exist. Bit of a unicorn. 
so let's see, simple. He's just gonna harpoon him. Yep. Literally harpoon him. Oh! Misses the shot! Simple tries to go for the no scope in the pit! What was that? Oh, that's where anything would have been better, right? The knife, the pistol, anything, anything with that. That could really, really explode right in their faces. It's two on two now. Bomb's gone down, Twist is in the pit, and he's going to get that kill on Boomich. Nice shot to take him down. And Flamey coming in from the exact same angle. I don't know. I don't think they know where he is yet. I think that's his only advantage at the moment. He, they're jumping to look for him, and he's snuck a little bit closer. Doesn't have a kit currently picked up, and now that they know it's almost certainly game over, this crossfire, I don't know how you're going to get through this one. Even if one of them... Oh, there, they swap out for an AK, so that crossfire is going to be really powerful now. Flamey walking into it. Perfectly played for an IP between Rez and Twist at the end there. But the fact that they missed that no scope, that scope from... What, yeah, I guess the no scope from Simple. This is what made the round. Oh, dear. Oh, right over the shoulder. Not taking anything for granted, and he's gonna go check the hard way. And that should be the round, no problem. Oh! Oh no! Oh dear! I'm getting real nervous, Semler. What just happened? Dude, the caster curse is still a thing I see. <laughs> still got it. He's doing it all right! Uh, and then he's not. Oh, and there's the time. Like, Nox got that shot. This is unreal. Winnable situation now for NIP. They've got the positioning. They've got the firepower. It's on Flamey and Simple now to work together. Simple's got that AP. Puts it in the pit. Doesn't get the kill. But he still hits a headshot on Knock. Twist now. 1v2 alone. Has the AK. He's got the positioning. I mean, there is a kit on Flamey. I think they should be able to hold this. Up on top. It's the AWP first. Oh, that's going to be great for... Oh, he goes for it. He's going to go down right away. That was definitely possible. Like, you're absolutely right. That could have been working out. But the kit will make sure that Navi win the round. You'd expect that he could uh, do a fine job. I'm worried about the time once again. 20 seconds, Semler. Coming out of uh, out of Boiler right now. That's going to get scary, isn't it? Oh, man. That's, that's so disgusting, this position. How you can use that, that low wall, that broken wall there. There it is. Flamey with the cleanup. 9-6 to six at the end of the first half here. Navi on the CT side managing to rally. And look at what a big uh, change here. NIP on the CT side. They got three people over at the B-bomb side. They're setting up for flashbang. They got the duelies in front on Rez. And here comes the flash. And he's going to get shot down right away. Nice turn. They were looking away from it. And Perfecto able to essentially execute him. Next in line, Plopsky going down. And it's all on Hampers. And they're going to bring it back instead. Twist is now alone at the bomb site. <laughs> what a headshot to take down Flamey. That might have done a little bit here to try and save the round for an IV. I love Twift's picture as well. Ooh. His picture is perfect with that little eyebrow. Like, yeah, I hit yeah. that. I hit that headshot. That's right. That was me. That was me. Listen, you're allowed to be smug in, in, in situations like, if you hit those shots, I'm fine with it. Running and gunning his hampers. He's back in the action. He's come all the way for the V-bomb site. Knock will get one of his own. And Electronic, just like that, wondering where his entire team is. They could have probably knifed him, but they did it with the USPs of this B site and Hampus only now realizing he's going to rotate back, but can he get back here in time to have an impact? 15 seconds, I mean, one kill would have all the impact in the world if he could just stop the bomb from going down even once. That's going to make the difference. It's coming in on simple. There's a bit of a shot taking down Perfecto, and five seconds left. He wanted it, but Flamey, nice headshot to cover simple. Simple couldn't get off the bomb then, so he had to stick it. If Flamey doesn't hit that shot, who knows what happens? This is really brilliant. Two versus three here, and NIP trying to see if they can sneak the round back, but Simple is done with it. Great headshot before he gets taken down. Even Flamey in a one versus two. He swings for the fight, and now he's back around cover. He knows exactly where Rez is running up. This is AK versus M4, and that AK is almost always going to take that win. Huge round out of Flamey, saving Simple for the bomb plant. They have it or not, they're just going to sit here and wait. And now Twist trying to draw the Navi in. Baby, that was that was that was nice. 20 seconds. If they keep on going with the speed split, it could actually lose them the round. Oh, they might be making a massive mistake. They're not pulling it off Navi either. 15 seconds, they're going to go for it. They lose Boomich on the one side. And with the Mac 10 or oh, sorry, the uh, MP9 there, it's going to be a kill. Now down to Simple. He's going to get one kill and shot in the back by Hampus at the very end. And that will be... A smoke and a flashbang here at Navi. That's a lot to cover for an A attack. And they just used it. Uh, well, one of them there. The other one just put up by Electronic. So we'll see if it's going to be working out. He really wants that headshot boomage. Oh, he's so hungry for it. 19 seconds left. Flamey with a kill. And now, actually, only Nock is alive. And he's going to get shot down. This has worked out so well for Navi. This is everything they had hoped for. With that little time left, you can't afford many mistakes. And, and they had none of them. So great. Yeah, he was a real boss.
<laughs> he's, yeah, I think it's amazing what he's done building a brand for himself. So, yeah, obviously, mostly in the CS region, but neck and neck game at the moment. 50 seconds. They're going to be setting up a single smoke there to block off CT spawn. Plopski, interesting position. If he could avoid getting flashed, could do some damage from this one. Now sneaking in is Nork with the AWP. He's running back, and I think Sybil will have heard that. Yeah, he definitely knows he's going to catch him. That's some great awareness. That was just all audio-based from Simple. He knew that he had just fallen back. And, yeah, perfect timing here for, for, for Navi. This is so well done. They they did this really, really well. They were just on the brink of the bomb site, so that when Simple gets the kill on Nork, like, they just know everything they need to know about what's happening in that bomb site. That's, that's a job well done. Even saving the FAMAS and the M4, which they're currently doing, and... Looks like they might be successful in. It's still a problem. It's a big problem. And this time not fighting Banana. Twist though a little bit forward. Yeah, still they have a great uh, a great setup here in the middle to try and see if they get something out of it. They're going to get the headshot at the very least, taking down Electronic. That's nice work. And again, I love this proactive work from NIP. This is something really admirable from them. Nice shot from Simple, but can they actually turn it into a win here at the bomb site? Not looking likely here, Anders. Although Boomich, he is still in the mix and he's got full HP as well. What do you do here, though? He realizes that it could be a 1v1 situation. Twist is waiting on the other side of the smoke. He heard the footsteps, and the smoke is working against Boomich. This is heartbreaking now. Twist on the small wall, and Boomich has no way of knowing that he's just close. Has to hit that shot instantly. It's just not going to happen. And so NIP, off of Na'Vi's aggression. And then maybe they could get, like, a little bit of breathing room after that. Nork, oh, yeah, Twist can't fall back. He'll leave Nork alone if he does. Great shot. Oh, and a great follow-up. Taking down Flamey. That is magnificent. What was that follow-up shot? Oh. Okay. Simple. Yes. Yeah, he's going to hit find that shot on Rez. Brings it back three on three. Rez, my dude. That is so frustrating right now. Because now that it's fully advantage uh, Na'Vi going onto the B side, three on three is always going to favor the T side. The CT yeah. side have to spread out to cover more ground. And so Na'Vi, they know this. They take full advantage. They gather up as three. And life is going to get real interesting for Plopsky here. Yeah, we'll see what he does. I mean, he's got a big choice. Does he want to fight and maybe go down and die? Then they lose the round. Or does he just want to wait and get them in and try and go for the retake? And yeah, he's, he's elected to play it safe. I think a lot of people would probably applaud that at the moment here. Bomb going down. <laughs> he gets taken down. Simple is there. And he's going to catch Hampus. Sneaking around the edge of the smoke. And yeah, this is falling apart here for NIP. Try and get that AWP out of there. I think actually Popsky played that just fine. I mean, I don't know what he's meant to do at that point in time, but essentially make over of James Bond. Like, not one the way that he's like subtitled differently or whatever. Like, a full, a full on, you know, just their own interpretation. That would be great. Otherwise, NIP. Oh, sorry. Now we have all of the advantage. If they play this slow and carefully. It's probably going to be an RV winning this. So I really, really respect what NIP are doing. These last three rounds from them have been, I think at least the idea of them have been really, really good. So let's see if they can do it. Otherwise, it's going to be Navi winning this first map on Inferno. Perfecto goes down to Twist, but Simple is there with the AWP. Nice shot from Nork. He actually hit that down from the pit. And now it's a two on two. Nork and Hampus versus Electronic and Simple. It's going to be a great kill there with the AK. And now with about a minute, it's a one versus two. Simple. See if he could steal this one away from them. He's going to get to the bomb site first, I think, but ooh, it's going to be close, isn't it? Because he always oh, stays and he hits that shot. Simple. You are the man who needs to make it happen now for Navi. And I'm pretty sure that everybody on Navi are perfectly happy with this situation. A 1v1 situation for Simple here on this B site. Bomb planted. Knock. That's the one thing that Simple doesn't know. Is he coming banana? Is he coming through CT? And it looks like he heard the footsteps. Not yeah. making some noise. And that's going to be all Simple needs now. He's got the position. He's just going to wait for the tap. <sighs> oh, he's just doing it again. He's playing with him. He's got no idea, does he? No, he's looking all over the place. I think he finally figured it out. Is he going to try and hunt him down? He's really trying. He's going to get the shot. And oh, I don't know. He's going to be right on it. It might have been not enough time. It's going to be down to the last second, but it will be the bomb going off. And simple to win a one versus two. I, kind of, I can't believe that he stopped to wait for that rotation in. What a beast. You don't want to let the Navi just go ahead and get comfy and set the pace. No, definitely not. And twist is, I mean, look Whoa. at this. Twist is getting so much info. Now, there comes a point where you can say it's too much if he keeps going, so I'm kind of happy that he's stood still like this. I think this is great. Yeah. You got you to gotta worry about main being pushed in. He's going to check. Oh, steps in. The angle doesn't work. Does not favor Twist. And Twist 
decides to back off. And this is actually correct to stay alive at that point. You know it's the bomb. Boomich is now cut off. Plopsky is still chilling out over here in Pop Dog, and that's Twist winning the duel versus Boomich. The bomb has been dropped. Means one of these players from Navi has to rotate back over there and pick that up. Perfecto and simple, both hightailing it over. And now Electronic alone, caught with the nade in his hand. Yeah, everything blowing up. The bomb being dropped far back. They're getting pushed on. Yeah, Navi just going to be probably shaking their head saying, whatever, that was all round. That was not going to be working out anyway. Good shots coming in, but it, I, there's just no way it should be enough here. NIP would have to basically fight all the way through and not just play for time, which, you know, I, I think they were uh, capable of doing just then. Some smokes coming in. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, he's so ready. He's got the right. He knows that they want to keep pushing it. He sees the shadow. Pretty quick adjustment. And Plopsky with two in return. So an even trade here. A simple will take down Plopsky. And it's a three on three. So, I don't know. Still plenty of time. Navi would love to win this early round here and, and bring it right back. Oh, if only. This would be the strong one, because now Simple is going to be leading the way. Catch his knockout in the open. Completely knock on his ass there. That was a rough one. And so Simple now, he's going to be able to take point, and he can even catch out another one. Yep, sure enough, gets a headshot on Hampus. It's all on twist now. 1v3, he realizes Simple. The land shark is making his way around, and he's going to get completely flanked. That is it. Simple with a magnificent round. Four frags for him. Simple, we know he's quick enough to hit this frag. Oh, the flick just over the shoulder. Doesn't quite connect. Perfecto trying to make his way out as well. A little bit of information gained there. It's electronic to find Twist. And a man advantage for Navi. Nip still with three players alive on the A site. Yeah, that was Twist trying to push forward down towards Ivy. Uh, and I, I mean, I don't think this is currently working out for them in, in this particular round. But I still like what it says about NIP and their mentality of, of sort of keeping up the fight, keeping up the pressure, you know. Keep building and building, so... Like to see it. 40 seconds. Bomb outside of T-spawn, and oh, Plomsky, what a win from him! First drop was magnificent, but that was, again, him just taking matters into his own hands. Trying to be the playmaker, a follow-up from Rez, taking down Flamey. What a disaster for Na'Vi. Now, all of a sudden, they're in a... Well, forget about that. A one versus four, and with 20 seconds left. I can't even believe it. NIP should not be winning this round, and yet here we are. What is going on? And do they find the AWP? That's what we got to keep an eye on. No! We'll see you in a second, I guess. What a ridiculous round. I, I just... I can't believe it. I don't know, they have a couple of flashbangs. They could probably flash him off that position, so I expect he's going to be falling off it, but no. He's still sticking around, and the flashbang does nothing. He's not hitting the shot, though. Rez will instead before he goes down. And now 30 seconds there, getting close to the bomb site. Nice shot, taking down Boomich and dropping the bomb on the site. That's going to buy so much time for the rest to show up. Flamey drops next to Twist, and now it's all simple. 23 seconds, he picks up the one kill and an AK to try and switch it out. He's got three more kills in about 15 seconds. I am not buying it. He may be very, very good at this, but that's just too much to handle, isn't it? So he's going to get the one, and Hampers will shut him down. So brave effort. They're saving both the orbs, and... Got the full execute coming in here in a moment. The nades Ooh. are raining in and a little bit of a hiccup. A little bit of noise being made, but this is it. They are out. Knock hits the headshot. Perfect. Dodges that flash and gets the job done. Hamp is going to get overwhelmed by that tech nine point blank. And we have a man advantage now for Navi. Bomb for once. It's going to get planted, Anders. Twist coming in. Ooh, is that going to lure them back in? Because I, I think that was NIP on save mode. And then when you get a kill and you make it a three on three, you think, ah, oh, maybe we yeah. could. It feels like that might be what's happening here. Simple though, he's looking for it, and he's, he's so on point right now. You can absolutely feel it. Another shot to take down Plopsky. He saw Twist, he's trying to shoot him in while flashed. He's so outrageous. It'll be Flamey instead to get the kill. Nice round out of Na'Vi. I've got I've to gotta give it to Nork though, like a strong player, you know? You don't don't typically do that with the players you, you feel like, you know, can handle it. So I guess there is some, some kind of love in there as well. Nice shot from Nork. He's out in the middle of nowhere. He should be dead in about a second. He's trying to find one more kill. Oh, now they know. They heard that orb go off and they, they wonder. He gets another one. Rez with the MP9. And yeah, that's a teammate. Don't want to be shooting him. I can't believe Nork is still alive. How is he living through this? He should have been dead 10, 15 seconds ago. And finally, Simple takes him down. But the rest of the team is gone. And now they need to just not fight. Yeah, leave. Well, they get the kill. But otherwise, leave him alone. There's 30 seconds left. What a round out of Nork. He is such a god. And you can see they're setting up now. Mollies, flashes, smokes, and... Uh, 
see. Oh, he can't really see much of anything. Hampus missing the spray, and he's going to go down. Tech 9 by Boomich. He wants that gun recovered. Oh, and simulating a headshot on Botsky. What a disaster for NIP right now. Nork not able to get the flick in. This should not be happening. They're going to get a bomb plant, and actually, they get a couple of kills with the orbs, but you're retaking a bomb site with two AWPs, and that is generally not a good idea. We'll see in a three on three right here if it's going to be working out. I feel like NIP got to be careful. They get baited into giving up these rifles. There's one of them straight headshot on Flamey. Simple again. And now Twisty's in the middle of the side. He has to keep fighting. And I don't know if he's going to get the chance. Flamey will take him down. NIP lose all of the rifles. And Navi might not be perfect. And he might be able to take advantage of that. All three remaining players for Navi making their way through Ivy. And yep, sure enough, right on the edge. He's going to take that headshot on Electronic. Decides to jump through. Sets it up for Plopsky, who's going to get traded. But it's still a 1v2 perfecto. He's got the bomb. Maybe you could go for the bomb plan, but 15 seconds, he's sneaking around and also being snuck upon. Well, not really sneaking. There's the kill that he needed. 10 seconds left and, well, a no-scope would do it, but Rez is right on top of him and he's just gonna be knocking on the door, surely. Oh, there it is. He actually let him have the bomb and he let him have the hope. And on the redemption's path now, the electronic, oh, he backs off just as they go through. Sometimes that's just the way it goes in CSGO. Unfortunate, but Electronic, he's going to redeem himself. He finds one shot on Twist. It's going to be a trade. Knock just lighting it up. He has really come alive for the ninjas okay. towards the end of that first half. And going into the second, he is just popping. And this is a fantastic pistol round for NIP. Still, Navi with a one-man lead here at the defensive side. Cross of smoke, some Molotovs down at Ivy to set up Twist, and he's actually going to go right through their own smoke. That's really interesting. Simple though, he sees it coming. He knows what's happening here, and he'll drop Twist. So now they're in even more trouble because Twist was meant to be the guy sort of flanking them as they were heading for this B bomb site. Popsky with a nice headshot. Still, the bomb gets dropped, and I think this might be the end of the road. Simple showing up for yet another kill. And um, it'll be three in the round for him so far. It's the fact that, I mean, Twist really had a big role to play in sneaking through there. Um, but uh, Navi already doing better than that. So, you know, you got to look for the positives, Anders. You know, always the small victories. And then you got simple, right? To bring you the big victories. Yeah, winning that. Oh, he's going to go through. He wants it so bad. I think he actually might have run into a grenade or something inside of the smoke there. It looked like maybe he got halfway blocked, but he's still alive. Electronic on the other hand. Bullet to the face by Hampus. Could join in that's just incredibly annoying <laughs> you're trying to relocate around the back line nice shot from rez and that gives them the bomb site can they make anything off it though they have plenty of time it's a three on three anyone's round at the moment and that's that smoke is just impeccable now that keeps simple on the other side he's jumping hoping that he's going to spot some information here but rez already ready yep Perfect. Gets that flank on flame. He rotated through CT. Simple has that information now, though, so he knows that he's got a man at his back. Hoping to make the play onto the site. Hampus holding close, though. Drops him. I don't know. Maybe that's a sign for Navi to sort of say we, you have to. You mean, I mean, you should have someone maybe with that's going to help out the at that point in time. Ooh, and that was 4x3 from Boomich, maybe? Or just, I don't know. Something has to change. Six round gap. 13 to 7 here. Oh, this is gonna get spicy. Right out through Pop Dog. Simple takes down Rez to start. Knock! Gonna drop Boomage. That was so close. But Simple still alive in the final boss. You have yet to drop him. He's saved by Electronic in the end. And it's all on Humpus, just like that. Nip, we're trying to change up the pace. I don't know, there's just three people around him. They're right on top. Jumping down in fact. Oh no. That's risky. But Simple will be there to get the kill. He kind of recovered himself a little bit towards the end. True. Uh, he's kind of having a similar performance here on train. If Electronic shows up to the party, things are going to get real rough for Nip if Simple is playing like this. So, let's see. There's Simple once what? again. Takes down Flosky. Let's see. 30 bomb. Maybe. Going to get another shot at it. <laughs> he's just trying to go for the wall bank. Sure, why not? Come on, Simple. Give us the 30 bit. Come on, man. Um, twist in a, in a one versus four with a deagle. Certainly be one for the highlight uh, for the books if he could uh, if he could do it. But with 15 seconds, I actually don't think it is doable. So I'll take it all back. It can't be done. But he can still impress us with the people. Like, sure. This is the one I... Yeah. And it looked like Simple was just going to hold the angle as well once they had him box yeah. and not push. Information is worth so much. So just the fact that they know that someone's out there. And look at three people waiting for it. Now setting up with a flashbang. Are they going to go and hunt him down or just leave him out there? 
they take too long, they might be slow to get to the B bomb side where there's gonna be action in a second. There's the kill on Hampers. Good spot. And yeah, over at the other side, Perfecto has really come into his own. Nice spree down. Great triple kill. Looked like he wanted to actually take the swing. Trying to hold the angle for the second flashback. Simple there to pick up the one kill and Boomich actually take down Popsky. So turning out in their favor and simple kill all over the place. Fighting this time towards Pop Dog to get another kill. And yeah, well, he's just going to keep going. <laughs> 33, just like that. And Twist is alone. Man, Navi not wanting to let go of this train map. It's, uh, yeah. Do we get a 40 bomb? First 40 bomb of the tournament? Is that possible? I mean, we got enough rounds left. Blade is done. Twist going to town right now. Takes down Perfecto. 1v2. Bomb is getting camped, however, by the remaining two players for Navi. And so. He's got his work cut out for him here. Trying to spot, trying to get info. Simple still holding with that up. Yeah, and Navi now, I mean, as opposed to just uh, 10 seconds ago, now they're playing it much smarter, saying, don't, just don't let him have the fights. Oh, he actually finds it. What a shot from Twist. He wants to go for it. It's a one on four, and he nearly does it. Man, that would have been brilliant. Yeah, right. Exactly right. The manor timeout. Bro. These pistols are not doing what I actually need them to do at the moment. Again, what was the, I think it was a six round gap at one point, and now it's about to be Navi taking the lead with a one uh, a little single round here. So that's pretty impressive. That's a great job on them. Oh, Electronic getting a, maybe a little bit uh, too eager there. They obviously want as many grenades as they can get their hands on to make life hard on Simple. If at all possible, try and get him out of position and have him play around the smokes with that or Plopsky going down to Boomage. Oh, and a flashbang is so perfectly timed. Not even to fight, just to escape. What a great teammate throwing that. I think that was Flamey setting that one up. Perfecto going down again. Yeah. Rez in the B bomb side. That's the third time he's won that fight. He is such a resource, but not enough to take down Simple. Yeah, Rez and Perfecto. That is just such a one-sided story. And now yeah. out onto the A side. Boomage in position at Pop Dog. He's going to be communicating this over, and they're going to catch them in a vice. Navi, now you let them plant, and then you face, because then it's a three-on-one. As soon as that bomb is getting planted, you face now. There it is. They line up. Doesn't matter. You're going to get that round. Well Perfect. done there on Navi's side. But it is looking like it's going to be... Uh, yeah, this is from slow down here. 7 to 13 all the way to 15 to 13. Like, it's wild. Wow. Oh. That's big. That's a flank gone. Ivy open now completely. Flamey is unaware of that. He's worried about there being a trade frag, but now he's going to sneak out. He's going to there. And it's going to be the big drop. Oh, what? Rez survives with 7 HP. That's so close. And with a Mac 10 as well. It's real interesting. Yeah, maybe that's like the latest addition to that meta game. You you don't just you don't yeah. face. You actually just crouch and look. And, and show, it does show nothing to show the back. I don't know. That's a reach in there. But Electronics oh. going to take Rez. That's it. What can you do? Yeah, 1v4, dude. Not even a chance. He actually shot him like halfway through the wall for a headshot there. Twist now. He tried for the one on four earlier. This one is even more unlikely. Yes, there's only 15 seconds left. And Simple will take him down. 35 kills for the god himself. And Navi picking up the 2-0 victory here. The first match of last year. I'm, I'm so impressed. What a great start for Navi.